Okay, so we are finally here. We are going to play Stray. So, um, hear a lot of good things about the kitty game. So, decided to play it today. Alright, let's get started. Are you the head honcho cat? making me like, well no, I need to balance. Because that would frustrate me to no end, to be honest. I don't like that. I forgot that the PS5 has that thing where like it purposely makes things harder to uh press into. If this game is about trying to find your lost cat family, I'm gonna be really upset. Oh, oh my god, I thought I just died. Okay. Price is important. <laughs> Or I'm gonna get separated. Don't do it, buddy. I put an eyeliner today. Wow. Thanks for, uh, the sign from the heavens, apparently. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Are you trying to insinuate that this cat can read? Oh no, why do I need a bucket? Why do I need a bucket? Like, is this just to be cute or do I need this for something? I'm nervous. Do I have to drop it down here? I'm a genius. Let's knock things over to be a dickhead. What is this going to accomplish? Oh no. Apparently it's breaking shit. Oh, I get to destroy someone's rug? Oh, that's such a dick move. I love it. Can I jump in the pail? <gasps> oh, I probably should not have done that without knowing what exactly I was doing. Now I guess. Oh no, is this the fucking entrance? Ooh, I don't like that. Definitely don't like that. My brave cat, is that it? Damn, you just mark someone like that, though? Listen, if those things start attacking me, I'm not gonna be happy. I didn't like that. I turned the sound up some more. Oh no, a chase sequence. My worst nightmare. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I hate chase sequences so much. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh no! Oh, 
what are these things? Like, I thought they were rats, but they're not rats. Maybe these things are going to kill me. No. That was really unfortunate. Especially because, like, there's no jump button. Like, as far as I pressed, at least. No. Why? Go, kitty, go. This is where I died last time, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh, I hate chase sequences so much. Thank god that closed behind me, I guess. I don't think right now is the time to stop and scratch yourself. Circle the meow. Follow me. Like, up here? That's really ominous still. I don't like red lights. It's a little creepy in my opinion. Like something else is going to jump out and try to murder me. Listen, I know that those things are probably going to end up chasing me again, but... I'm not looking forward to it. Diggity dang. Am I a genius? Where are we going, kitty cat? Oh no, not again! Okay, at least I didn't fall to my epic death there. Uh, now what? There we go. Time to inconvenience every construction worker ever. Big arrows pointing this way. It's like, why do games have to just be so dark? Alright, we are in a lighted area now. Cool. For the next, like, ten seconds. Yep. Wow. Do I keep this? I, I wish to keep this. What if I need it later? The flat. Oh, you got rid of my box! What if I needed that? Alright, I'm in someone's house now. Time to fuck things up again. Are, these gonna, are all the books gonna knock over when I jump? I don't think I can actually type anything. I was gonna try really, really hard to type something legible. Am I just gonna accident my way into becoming a hero or just can my cat actually read? Insert. Okay. So I found two. How many? Three? Four? Four. Okay. Alright, progress. So I just need to destroy the rest of the room and find the rest. Gotcha. See, I told you guys I needed that box that it took away from me. Yes. Okay. Cool beans. Alright, one more. Give me. Oh, insert. Okay. Now what? A secret bookshelf door? Oh, I don't like this room. Oh, 
won't let me move forward anymore. Lame. Alright, what, what have I grabbed now? It wants me to put it there. B12, like the vi vitamin. Meow, meow. <laughs> so if you're just dropping in, I'm not sure if my cat can read. Or I'm just accidenting myself into being being the hero of the story. Why is Square next? It worked, I'm free, thank you. I couldn't believe the camera's a cat in the dead city. I can't remember my name, it seems my memory is corrupted. I have been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. I like the vitamin. It's dangerous in the dead city. I didn't like that noise. But you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's let's get out, out of here. Follow me. Can, can my cat read? Is this robot talking to me? Because I know the voice is like making sounds. Like, can my cat understand speech? I, I need to know these answers. Am I a super genius cat that knows speech? Can I read? Can I do math equations? Can I fuck up your carpet? Okay. Why am I confused? The, the door was already open. <laughs> The key unlocks the door. I remember that much. That key. Okay. Let me get get that for you. Okay. Very good. Battery low. I'm over here. Where am I going? I'm going to have to put this on. <laughs> oh, he's so dramatic. This backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. But why? That that's the question why. Who just thought, hmm? I'm gonna make a backpack that a tablet can go in for a cat. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've di digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Oh, okay. See that. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Okay. It's an engineering degree. It belongs to the scientist I worked for. Okay, it's a really shoddy translation. What school did they go to? Is it like Robot Harvard? Oh, perfect. Alright, let's get out. That was uncomfortable. Okay. Oh, I get a flashlight. Complimentary horror game flashlight. Let's go. Not that I necessarily think this is supposed to be a horror game, but I've already been chased by monsters, so like slimy little one-eyed, like naked mole rat looking things. And I was not happy about it. Code. Three plus forty-eight. There is no plus. Hold on a second, did I read that wrong? Am I stupid? Three seven four eight. Okay, that's a plus. 
All right, now I've solved the mystery. Cool beans. Well, look at this place. That elevator in the distance, that's important, I think. You think? I know we need to go up. Yeah, I need to find my cat family. Yeah, it doesn't look good. I hate that a lot. Don't make me run again. Wait, I remember the outside. It feels it feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? Kinda. I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? Oh. This postcard. The mural was painted from it. Let's take a look. Well, let's take it, I guess. Gain new item. Cool. Is there anything written on the postcard? Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Translate. Okay. Safe zone. I don't believe you. Because I'm definitely hearing the noises of those fucking things. Oh my god. No. 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 Can they jump after me? So fucking scared. The slums. No, why are you running? Why is it making me move slow? You're not gonna let me just jump over that? Rude. That mannequin thing scared the fuck out of me. I'm just a little kitty cat. How'd that meme song go? Just a little kitty cat and I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. You're not gonna try to beat me up with that stick, are you? God, I hope not. They seem to have their own language. Yeah? You're a Nozerk. Nope. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Sir, you are made of metal. You look lost. What do you need? Aww. Oh, a picture of the outside. Rid ridiculous. This elevator isn't op operational. Everyone knows that. It is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in the building with the orange neon sign. Okay. Listen, orange and yellow are my favorite colors, but, like, there's just something about it in, like, you know, gaming environment, I think, that makes it a little omnibus. Please don't bother Vapora. She's so clumsy. Well, now I have to go bother her. Of course. I've come to bother you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of a dick move, wasn't it? Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do I want to take the detergent? Why am I stealing? Why is my cat that can read stealing? Reminds me of the horse and over the garden wall. It's like, you can talk, you can do anything. I want to steal. <laughs> Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Breaking into your house. Are 
Are you Momo? It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you what do you want? I wanna go outside. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Yeah. Well don't bother, it's a waste of time. It'll only bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had the stream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that blank trans transceiver didn't work. Was it bleeped out because he, he said fucking transceiver? Or is it like a word I just don't know yet? My friends and I took our note, took notes of our research about the outside here. Take mine if you really want to go out there. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. We don't scroll down. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It's signed Clementine Zet Balthazar? Hope that, like, I hope the Z is silent. Uh, Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Ball! No, fuck the radio. The ball! No! Just leave the radio alone! Leave the ball. Oh my god, leave the radio alone. Ball. Yes. Yes! No, leave the fucking radio alone. Can I put my head in the bag? Yes. Oh no, am I stuck like that? Oh no. Guys, the controls are reversed. Why is the books- why are the books- why are the books bouncing? Why are you dancing, books? Scratch your wall up. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Can you stop moving where I can't read? Why can't I remember his name? Was his name literally just Doc? Is he Doc from the notebook? Looks like there's something here. Translate. Oh, sir, that's a lot of text. The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceilings. If I believe my books, the, the big blue sky is hidden behind. Okay. The symbol on the wall matches one of the notebook. Okay, so I imagine I have to go over there. Seems like a lead. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Computer. An outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Scroll back up. Everything is co going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are, they are in, pl in a place called Midtown and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier, his eyes, I know that look, he will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Yeah. Can I, can I, can I, it's not going to let me press things on the keyboard? Why put it in front of me? Why let me do it earlier? Okay. Oh no. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all of the garbage, the sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. <gasps> is it puppy time? So it's puppy time. Look at this little fanny. Hello, Watson. What you doing? You fat boy. You can go lay down? No, probably not. 
Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. I don't approve. I don't know why I didn't take that. Translate. Ventilation power supply. Maybe I shouldn't fuck with that then. But then again, they're robots. Do they really have to breathe? Oh, I probably need to take it off so I can um go down the hole. Yeah. Breaking and entering. I'm not going to be able to get the notebook until I do- oh, right there it is. Cool. Nice work, another notebook. Yeah, I know. This one seems to belong to someone named Balthazar. All traces of the organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves in breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay, cool. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated humans, human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Yeah, I'd say. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. I got laundry detergent. <laughs> oh wait, I picked up music. Petite balls. Okay. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. There's no way that sound is coming out of that. Translate. It's written, follow the numbers, but it looks like the a bon binary language in a succession of zeros and ones. Okay. We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It is probably related to the safe. Yeah, I imagine. Can, can you not decipher that? <laughs> Access to the sewers is condemned because of the pro proliferation of the Zerks. Stay safe, stay in the safe zone. Can I use the vending machine? <gasps> I don't know, what do I need an energy drink for? Only our ancestors can distinguish these colors. It is said they once dominated the world. It's called green. Scratch up your carpet. That's a lot of text. The ancient stories speak of natural light that leaked from a star and landed at our feet. This light caused warmth and well-being in our ancestors. It helped them to grow. Remember. What are you remembering now? Do they really consume this? Oh, I doubt it. Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. I do love knitting. So far I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. It's something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I can make you a poncho. You inspire me, but it's not easy to find the right material materials around here. Okay. Give me these. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Hi. 
I have a poncho? Can I wear the poncho? Elliot programming. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. You're here for Elliot, he's just over there. When you said over there, I assumed you meant like in the same like area. Yes, can I help you? Are you cold? Would you like a poncho? Oh, where'd you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. If this fits him perfectly, I'm gonna be very mad. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you ever need anything fixed. Why did the grandma think that was going to fit me? I'm like super not that size. Actually, can you... You want me to read this binary code? Just a second, I need to calibrate my lenses here. It means duffer bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous via binary code? Duff, duff, duffer bar. Okay. I guess I have to go back to the bar. Just scratch your carpet. Okay. This kind of back and forth stuff like to get to turn in one item to get like another piece of information and then like leading over to a different location to like rinse and repeat the process like for some reason this is reminding me really heavily of like Link's Awakening and that aspect except it's a lot less Mario references this tree is a scientific marvel it's remarkable that human integrity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. That's what the humans would have wanted. I feel like I'm missing, like I'm missing memory somewhere. I don't know where though. But then again, this is definitely not supposed to be a completionist run, so I need to not be super upset about not finding things. It's gonna lead me back to the bar. Yeah. Oh, okay. One, two, eight, three. Rip humans. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they all that they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly co coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Yeah, thanks. Can I do the same thing here? Yes! That's also very cute. Okay. Yay, more music. Don't know what I need all the music for. Hey Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. see a key slot there. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectro spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. 
Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I fixed, I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With, with this, we should be able to help Momo repair their transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Okay. Back to Momo, I guess. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Nope, I found them all. That's my notebook. I was the last to, to join the Outsiders, and I'm also the la last remaining one. Are you going to join my quest? Oh, you found Clementine's notes? She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I've ever met. That's Balthazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all of my friend's notebooks? Yeah. It was a hassle. Oh, what's that, that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Come, come in time, Balthazar, Doc. I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find your, you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. You mean the TV? Give me a cutscene. Hey, Bo Viola. It works. Come with me. Do I actually have to follow you? Yeah, okay. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there was a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Oh no, you're gonna make me get chased! Rooftops. Yeah. So much for a fucking safe zone. This shit's infested. Why would I attract the enemies? I said the meow, and I just did it without thinking. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay. Let's think logically about this. Alright, never mind, I just ran past them. That, that works too. Probably shouldn't be trying to like whiz past them as fast as humanly possible or feline possible i guess i should say because i'm gonna get sloppy from being nervous the city is full of neon it wasn't always this way there used to be a strict energy caps especially in the slums but people couldn't handle the constant darkness one day someone lit up a rainbow lamps neon signs all over their house that person was taken away and never seen again but people saw hope and not long after everybody started putting lots of lights in their homes there was nothing the oppressors could do it was a way for people to see colors again like on the outside i think it helped shit's depressing Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I don't know if I click that again, it's probably gonna open the door, isn't it? Ok, 
Okay, yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. I just panicked and got really nervous. Okay. Welding helmet. Five minutes. I might have to scream a little bit. I don't know how well you can hear me through uh, the helmet. And... You have a wig on top. Cool beans. I cannot see shit. <laughs> oh dear lord. This was a mistake. This was a bad decision. Okay. So. I don't want to get chased. I'm so scared. I don't appreciate every time the cat meows. It kind of startles me. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I can barely see them. Oh no. Will they jump up after me? I don't know. I don't want to find out. Oh my god, oh my god. Go, go, go. You know, I can't believe I avoided those that good with this fucking helmet on. Mad skills. Faux strats. Oh, I'm definitely a lot more muffled with this. Hello! I think that's okay, because I could actually see with the sloth on versus the welding helmet. The welding helmet was definitely a fucking struggle. But I'm also super turned around, because I was running for my literal goddamn life, so I don't know where I am. Uh, glowy thing. Neocore. They were responsible for waste management. As trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums, they tried to develop a bacteria to, dissol to dissolve it all. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. Now we have Zerks. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I apparently missed something in the city. Sense. Oh no. How can you betray me this way? Oh, I just like this a lot. I really don't appreciate these fucking rat things. It says mutated bacteria. They look like one-eyed little naked mole rats, and I hate them. Please leave me alone. It must take them a while to chew through metal because of the fact that, like, these cages are apparently stopping them, so... There not be any of these fucking things up here. Cutscene? Oh, and it gives me a bucket to go back. 
That's very convenient, but also very dangerous because this is quote unquote supposed to be the safe zone. And this thing is just absolutely infested with those monsters. Oh, it's gonna lead me right to the bucket. That's pretty funny. Look at the view, it's beautiful from here. I remember now the city, it was meant to be a shelter. It looks like, those look, look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. Well, I come from the outside. But if you came from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and, and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose, I have to open the city. I think that you're, like, bringing about, like, the disaster of the civilization as you know it. But that's just me. Unless this, this is some straight-up Wally shit. <laughs> but who knows. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. The slums part two. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you are reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I'm still surprised that you're a cat that knows how to read. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but code to, to open it is quite simple. It is. I, I'm going to assume with all of my infinite gamer knowledge that I don't have to fucking remember that. Be careful, it is cane sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Here's life for the window. The code was... It was an H, I think. Whoops, my bad. Let's try that again. Hmm. Or was it an O? Or was it a zero? Let's see. It worked. Momo is at the bar waiting for us. Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Let me see if I can get this thing working. I must be like a super genius, like, cat experiment. I've almost got it. Hello, can anybody hear me? Yes. Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We were looking for a way, way out and- Wait, is that you, Balthazar? Momo? I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Balthazar. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Balthazar is alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Balthazar made it, made it there must be a way. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you, your business is none of my business. Alright, bye. Made in France. <laughs> Sorry. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. 
Seamus has never never been the same since. Don't listen. Don't don't listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's go do some more breaking and entering. That's always good. Damn, you're still out here scrubbing? Oh, it still showed the cat paws that time. Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me. But you, I think I have an idea. Is it going to be my charming good looks and fluffy cute sweetness? Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electric shock. Find the secret lab a little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. What are you doing in here? I told you. Getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What? Is, what's this? Wait, is that my papa's? Wow, I never knew. There's a secret room in here in our flat, but where? I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. Those blueprints, they must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon w was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. But it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Robot news headlines Zerk's. Zerk are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. Observation. Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark. React to intense light. So all I had been doing is like... Bam, bitch. Blinded. The flexor blueprint. Concept, light-based handgun, low priority, visual appearance, size, decibel emitted, high priority, test in real condition, objective, 20 Zerk destroyer per second. Destroyed per second, not destroyer. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my papa might still be alive. I missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. Oh, I just phased right through the door. You gotta fix that tracker. You're resourceful. Maybe you can find someone to help in the s Someone in the slums to help. Yeah, I know just the person. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you need anything fixed. Well, it just so happens. Oh wow, that that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. I just gotta give it an update and one more thing and viola. There you go, little, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. 
Did he manage to fix the tracker? I sure did. Cool beans. We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I m must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna go talk to the, the guardian dude now and be like, hey, can you open this, please? Nope, you're just gonna do it yourself. Illegal! Breaking the law! Gets arrested! The two people talking by the fire just start screaming. They press the alarm button. They start running. Bitch, you really left me on your- oh no, you came? Okay. Oh no, dude, Seamus is gonna die. Watch. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. I'll open the door for you. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't go any further. I'm not as fast. The Zerks will get me. Please find him. Please bring my father back. Oh, I'm a cat. You're talking to me like I can understand you. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. And that, that and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Dead end. Well, I wish I would have read that before sliding. Hopefully I'm supposed to just run in a straight fucking line. Not that I think I'm safe yet, but... Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. Oh no. I hate that they make the baby limp. Oh no, is that the dad that I'm looking for? The scientist I used to work for was work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage fishing all day. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get out, get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a nice- found ourselves a little co cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientists would have wanted. If, but first we should find Doc.
Oh, is that who I'm looking for? Marty McFly! No, wait, that's not his name. That's the little kid's name, isn't it? Whoa, wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. You are totally the dude from Back, back to the Future. I wish I can go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Hey, be careful with that defluxer. At full charge, it could explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs a 1.21 gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the genera generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all that, all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go, go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you just might be. Might be. If you reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Are you going to give me the fuse? Are you going to give me my item? Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Oh, thank God. I don't have to go fucking find it. I knew I had to follow the yellow cords, though. Turning on the generator will be allowed, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow the cable, charge the fuse, and then meet me back here. Best of luck. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Chase sequences make me anxious. Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It's definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this defluxer to your drone. Oh sweet, I get a weapon. It worked. The deflexor is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off su such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm counting- I'm coming home, son. Okay. How do I use it? Are you gonna tell me how to use it? Sweet. I figured it out. Take out all the zerks so we can get through. I did. Wow, it's working great, but as suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it'll last until we reach the village. The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. Anyway, I hope everybody has enjoyed Stray. I realize I've kind of like shifted myself completely out of frame here, which is a little inconvenient because I was pretty comfortable. I'll have to adjust my camera more later to um be comfortable while still being in frame and we're going to go into the ending screen here so do, do, do. swear i won't forget this why do i regret this in my mind reckless thoughts are feeling endless sitting up i'm breathless anxiety's infectious i feel so defenseless betrayed and embarrassed i hate being open i hate being broken i feel like an ocean filled up with emotion anger ain't a potion rub it on like lotion i could feel it soaking reopen the scars have awoken i can't move on till i let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath home Cause I can't move